Some say that a van is nothing more than a big box on wheels, but that's too simple a description. A prime reason why so many people turn to a van is because it's an efficient package to haul large, heavy cargoes or plenty of people in an enclosed, lockable space. Wide side and rear doors and a long interior loading length help make loading and unloading easy. Placement of the driver and passenger allows for a large cargo area while maintaining a relatively short overall length on the outside for good maneuverability in city traffic. Because efficiency is a major reason to buy a van, it should be a major criterion when comparing one van with another. And we can divide efficiency into two major categories, economy of operation and utility. Use these criteria when comparing a Chevy van with its major competition, Dodge and Ford, and you'll discover many important Chevrolet selling advantages. Let's look at the economy of operation first. For 1981, Chevrolet engineers have made numerous advancements that add to the Chevy van's overall efficiency. Reduced rolling resistance was a major goal. The more easily the vehicle rolls, the better the fuel economy, all other things being equal. New low drag front disc brakes and the use of high pressure, easy rolling radial tires, standard on all models under 8,500 pounds GVWR, has helped reach the goal. The result? A Chevy van needs less power from the engine to get rolling and keep rolling when compared to last year's model. To demonstrate how easily the 81 Chevy van rolls, we matched it up against an equivalent Ford Econoline. Both have similar equipment. Both are operating at the same speed. Then, without using the brakes of either vehicle, transmissions are shifted into neutral, allowing both vans to coast Let's see how far they roll. The Ford stops here. But the Chevy van keeps rolling and rolling. Finally, it stops here, nearly 250 feet further than the Ford. A good indication that this Chevy van is easier rolling than the Ford. New advanced engine technology also has enhanced the efficiency and economical operation of a Chevy van. Until now, buyers heavily concerned with fuel economy have usually opted for a six-cylinder engine. If more horsepower and acceleration were needed, the buyer moved to a V8 engine. Thus, van buyers were faced with a choice between two engines, a six for economy, a V8 for more power. The development of an innovative electronic spark control system has made it possible for a Chevy van to be equipped with a high compression V8 engine that offers horsepower and torque similar to many large V8s. Yet, it offers comparable fuel economy to some six-cylinder vans. And it runs on low-octane, unleaded fuel. To demonstrate the impressive acceleration of this engine, we matched a G20 Chevy van equipped with the new 5-liter V8 and electronic spark control against a Ford E150 Econoline with a 5-liter engine under the hood. Both vehicles have automatic transmissions and, for all practical purposes, are nearly identical in equipment and options. Now, watch as they accelerate full throttle down this quarter-mile track. The Chevy van gets there first. A strong indication that the Chevy van in this demonstration offers significantly better acceleration. Now, let's see how well the Chevy performs against the Dodge B250 with a larger 5.2 liter V8. The Chevy beats the Dodge too. There's good reason why Chevy's 5 liter V8 performs so well. It offers significantly more horsepower than Ford and Dodge V8s, even though they have similar displacements. It offers 23 more horses than the Ford, 25 more horses than the Dodge. This new Chevy engine even has more horsepower than Ford's larger 5.8 liter V8, and just 15 less horsepower than Dodge's 5.9 liter V8. With that much horsepower, you'd expect to pay a penalty in fuel consumption. 
When comparing the EPA estimates for the Chevy, Ford and Dodge, equipped with their respective five liter engines, it's the Chevy van that has the higher estimated MPG and better highway estimates with either a manual three speed or automatic transmission. But let's see how the Chevy van matches up to the Ford Econoline and compare EPA mileage estimates for both six cylinder and V8 engines. We'll focus on the federal EPA estimates. California figures will generally be lower. See your study guide or the 81 EPA mileage booklet for details. Let's compare the G10 Chevy van and the E150 Ford Econoline. In the six cylinder category, a base Chevy G10 with the 4.1 liter six and three speed manual transmission has an EPA estimated MPG of 18, 25 estimated highway. The six cylinder Econo line has a one MPG advantage in estimated MPG and a one MPG disadvantage in the highway estimate. Now, let's look at the EPA figures for V8 engines. And remember, approximately half of all vans are equipped with V8 power. The Chevy G10, equipped with a five liter two barrel V8 and manual transmission, has an estimated MPG of 16, 20 estimated highway. The E150 Econo line with a five liter two barrel V8 has a lower estimated MPG and a higher highway estimate. Now, let's compare the new five liter V8 with electronic spark control against an E150 equipped with a 5.8 liter V8. Look at the difference in the estimated MPGs. The estimated MPG of Chevy's five liter is three more than Ford's. Estimated highway is four MPG better. Not a fair comparison? Remember, the five liter V8 with electronic spark control offers more horsepower despite its smaller size. Now let's compare fuel economy with Chevy's best-selling G20 van and the Econoline E250. Because the large majority of these vans are ordered with automatic transmissions, we're going to use the EPA estimates for vans equipped with automatics. The six cylinder G20, 16 estimated MPG, 22 estimated highway. The Econoline E250 equipped with a six, same estimated MPG, but a lower highway estimate. Now compare V8 engines. Compare five liter V8s with two barrel carburetors. The G20 tops the E250 again. Here's a major story. When compared against an E250 Econoline equipped with a 5.8 liter engine, the G20, Chevy's five liter V8 with electronic spark control has a four MPG advantage in the city and the estimated highway figure is six miles per gallon better. It even beats out Ford's six cylinder engine with an automatic transmission. Truly remarkable, considering it offers 160 net horsepower. Now let's talk about utility, what a van is all about. Utility to handle big, heavy cargoes with ease and convenience. Chevy's side door is a little more than 44 inches wide, a hair over 49 inches high. Ford's sliding side door is an inch shorter, which may not seem like much until that inch isn't there. And it's four inches narrower. For Dodge, the height is two inches less than Chevy's and almost four and a half inches narrower. A Chevy van's side door is bigger than either of the other two, and that makes it easier to load large, bulky cargo. And around at the back, Chevy's rear door openings are also the biggest of the three. Here's a large crate being unloaded from Chevy's large rear door openings. Now, try to get this same crate into the Dodge. It can't be done. The opening is simply too narrow. And the same goes for the Ford. The chickens have to be loaded the hard way. The Chevy van simply admits higher and wider loads than either competitor through either the sliding side or rear doors. On the inside, a Chevy van adds to utility of loading convenience because it offers a greater maximum loading length and greater width between wheel housings than either the Ford or Dodge. 
And when it comes to the utility of hauling big payloads in an enclosed space, Chevy's best-selling long wheelbase G20 van can handle up to 2,713 pounds of gross payload, including cargo, equipment, and passengers. That's 353 pounds more than Ford's popular E-150 can handle, or the equivalent weight of this stack of lettuce. But Chevrolet efficiency is also evident in the fact that a long wheelbase Chevy van is big on the inside, yet shorter in overall length than the long wheelbase Econoline. And that helps it get in and out of tight spaces. Now, take for instance Chevy's hardworking G30 van and compare its turning circle against the Ford E350. The Chevy's turning circle is nearly 11 feet smaller. As you can readily see, when it comes to efficiency, economy of operation, and utility, the Chevy van offers key value advantages, key reasons why today's van prospects should take an important step ahead and choose Chevrolet to meet their demands for hauling cargo in an efficiency-minded vehicle.